Someone says the AA is what gives Hex its value. Yes, it, it turns out that the most successful project that ever launched in crypto history launched nearly the same way. Oh, oh, wait a second. So block one had a 350 day launch phase where you sent Ethereum in and you got an ERC-20 token and they raised $4.2 billion, more than anyone else has ever made in crypto ever. And it wasn't in a liquid coin that they couldn't sell. They actually dumped the ETH they got. Apparently they own 100,000 Bitcoin now too. Wow. So Richard did what he knew would work because he saw it work already. Amazing. I'm just doing what works, man. We know this stuff works. We've seen it work. Stupid people. Blows my mind. EOS did a 40x in the bear market. What more do you want? Attacking a smaller market. Hey, we're, we're going to do uh, you know higher throughput, even though all the blockchains are empty. Okay. I guess it worked out. But, like... I'd rather do time deposits. You know how much bigger the market for time deposit, time value of money is? 7.2 trillion, second most popular product of the bank, versus, uh, yeah, there's already a million other uh, blockchains and they're all empty, but like we just want one that's like a little higher throughput. All right. Look, I, I believe people should be allowed to have security trade-offs without getting browbeat and yelled at by people that live in basements. If you want higher throughput with less security, it's a viable trade, right? If you want more security with less throughput, it's a viable trade. And as long as you know the trade that you're making, that's fine, like perfect. It just, with the hate. Choosing beggars, that the free that they're given isn't, isn't good enough for them. And then what do they give you in return? Let me know when you make something that I can get for free, please. <clears throat> Why Hex Launch doesn't have a giant billboard in Times Square? Man, I, I, to the best of my knowledge, no one spent, well, I mean, I see some Google AdWords, so I guess somebody spent on, on some clicks, right? But I haven't spent a dollar, not a single dollar. So I bet one day if someone starts spending dollars, there's a world of opportunity. I, in general, as a digital marketer, uh, I like metrics and data, and I like to double down on what works and cut what doesn't work. And you'll find in life that a lot of things don't work at all, at all. I'll give you an example. My first business was a car stereo store. If I, if I got the yellow pages, and I started calling people, white pages, residential, my lips are pretty dry here. I need some more water. If I start calling the white pages and uh, asking people, hey, would you like a pair of Rockford Fosgate punch 12 inch subwoofers in the back of your car? It'll take most of your trunk space. If you turn corners pretty quick, it'll like, you know, thump around in there unless we start drilling holes and making it hard to get to your spare tire. They'd be like, mm, no, no, I don't want that. Now, when I was growing up, I would love that. They're like, yeah, Rockford Fosgate punch 12s, yeah, I like that. Are they the Power Series? Which, which, which series do I get? You live in a niche, and in your worldview, you think everyone else has the same beliefs that you have. And when you expand, as you get older and smarter, if you do, you grow social consciousness, and you expand your sphere of influence, and then you have empathy and can understand what's going on in other people's lives because you may have been there yourself and worked it all out already. Can you make money in a car stare business? Yes, you can. Will, will your doors be full of customers all day long? Sure. But does that, does that mean that you can advertise on television and make money? Nope, you'll lose money. Can you get a billboard? Nope, you'll lose money. Can you do direct dial? Can you get a robo dialer and start calling everyone up? Nope. You can do it if you're selling free vacation scams, but you can't do it if you're selling a real product, right? Like car stair equipment. Most people just are not interested. So if you do 
marketing into the public and you can't track what's working and what's not, you will waste so much human consciousness on things that there's no synergy for. And you wouldn't even know it. Like my ads in the bargain trader did wonderfully, but my ads in the penny saver did terribly. And they're nearly identical publications. Weird. Okay. Well, that's just how it is. I'm glad I could measure that. I'm glad I had two different phone numbers to track which one was working. And I can do that digitally. So if, so if you're using a peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency and, it, and you've got to be on the internet to really enjoy the maximum use of it anyway, then why not use digital advertising? You know, I mean, it, like I said earlier in this, maybe four hours ago, the Pirate Bay is an ideal place to onboard crypto users because these are technically advanced people, period. And they're obviously interested in a bargain perhaps. And so maybe a freemium onboarding thing would be wonderful it's too bad that we've only got freemium for Bitcoin users. I would like to see some other type of freemium, right? Um, maybe the referral program is that, maybe, right? Something to think about. So, th so th to answer your question, like, I, I don't think that I would buy a billboard in Times Square for, for anything unless I was Coca-Cola. If you're Coca-Cola, you can make money on a billboard in Times Square because the distance from them getting that hit to being able to purchase a Coke is short. There's so much other video and media going on there that everyone that is exposed to it can r relatively immediately purchase Coke somewhere. But for any type of niche product that doesn't have a, a great penetration into the general public, no way you're cash positive on that. Like I dare you to set up you know, flyers with a phone number on them and then see how many calls you get. You, you would be surprised. Like it's things that you think shouldn't work sometimes do and things that you think are no-brainers they sometimes don't. And digital gives you the tracking to be able to tell the difference. But if you've just got a, a billboard with a picture of a URL and you're sending everyone to the same URL, you're screwed. You don't know which one worked. You'd have to interrogate the customers and half the time they don't remember. <clears throat> oh, all right, the guy I've been making fun of responded and he seems to be nicer. I appreciate the reply, not the insults, but granted, I said stealing money. Wish you well. Please drink and sleep and remind me every day how it goes. Thanks, man. I'm sorry for coming at you a little bit hard. I'm, I'm real tired, man. And see, that's what I mean. If you're honest with somebody and you, and you tell them why, what the data is and how you arrived at it, he wants the same things you do. He wants to see mad gains. He wants to see people do well, you know? So... If you, you can reach more people than you think you can. <laughs>